this is going to be not necessarily a series that you have to follow in order, but more so just discussing and showing examples and how to do very basic things in multiplayer using C++ and Unreal Engine. So this is going to be a little, these videos are going to be more oriented towards the beginner side. So we're going to be covering the basic things such as what is a server RPC? How do we use it? What are its uses? And let's create an example. We're going to be doing that for things like the server RPC, multicasting, client RPC, on rep, and that kind of stuff. So we're going to be kind of going into depth with, not well, too deep, but a very general overview of Unreal Engine's multiplayer framework. So hopefully this should at least get you familiar enough if you've been tinkering around with Unreal Engine and doing stuff in single player with C++ to making stuff work in multiplayer. So the perfect example for this is the FPS shooter template. So that's what we're actually going to create now. So go ahead and launch your engine version of choice. I'm just obviously on 4.25.3. Wait for that to kick off. I'm gonna go to games. I'm gonna select the first person template. Next, change from blueprint to C++. Give it a name and press create project. And everything else I am leaving the same. So I have already done this. So we should be met, well, Visual Studio will be closed by default, but we will be having our project here. So I'm gonna go ahead and expand out my sources panel because I like that look better. And I want to disable some plugins. For example, I do not want VR. So I'm gonna go up here to settings, plugins, built-in, and just search for VR. And I'm just gonna uncheck everything that comes up. So Steam and Oculus, search for Android, even though there's really no point. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of kind of a lot of stuff related to mobile. I just do this kind of out of habit, even though it literally does nothing. So you can honestly skip this step. Anyways, then it's going to ask you to restart. Go ahead and restart. Close down the VR. And now whenever we launch it, Steam VR and stuff like that should not be kicking off. So now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and open up our project solution in Visual Studio. And I just want to go ahead and give it a quick compile. So select your project, Control Shift B, assuming you've already done it through the editor, or just right click and press build. Go over here to our Beginner Multiplayer Character. As you can tell, I named my project Beginner Multiplayer. Once video, yeah, once it decides to unfreeze. There we go. I come down here to fire our on fire function in our character. Just going to simply print out a log. So UE log, log temp, warning text, firing. And I want to be actually better yet rename this one to firing on client and control shift B. And this is what we're going to use to kind of start our learning examples. So now that I compiled, I'm going to go ahead and relaunch the project. And the only reason I'm doing this long is because we're going to be using that for a reference in future videos, because we're going to be setting our non-replicated first person character up to be replicated. So currently, if I come out here to the output log, I shoot, it says firing on client. That's what we want. Now, if you do not have the output log, I cannot remember what the default layout is. You can come up here to window, go down to developer tools, and check the output log. And you will have it down here. So anything we log to, well, that we log will appear in it. So that is the first little example video of this. And that's all we're going to be doing for now because we just wanted to get the project built and set up. And in future videos, we're going to be expanding on it and actually 
going through and stepping over everything that I mentioned at the beginning. So, as always, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you have any questions or anything like that, you can also find my Discord server with it. And as always, I will see you in the next one.